Welcome to another episode of Security 101. This week I want to cover a topic that I've had recently asked of me. And let me give you a little bit of background. I know somebody who works at a company and he, they were getting complaints that uh, he was getting returns back in his email saying that the email account didn't exist. So it looked like he was sending somebody email to somebody who didn't exist. And in that case, probably what was happening was somebody was spoofing his company's email address. What happens with these spammers is they will use a return address from a company to make it look legitimate and will send out to millions of people. And you're going to start getting emails from people who said, taking off your list, people get angry. And more than anything, you get a lot of people, a lot of emails saying that account doesn't exist anymore. So he wasn't sending out anything that was necessarily bad. However, there is, it wasn't his fault. Let me put it that way. It wasn't his fault. Somebody else was spoofing his information and he had no control over that, nothing he could do. But there is another side to this. Sometimes people are really sending out emails and they don't know it. So when your machine gets infected with some of these uh, spam bot networks, what happens is they basically take your machine, they may go through your contact list and use that to build people to send things to and they'll send out the spam to those people it actually probably left your machine and it's probably because you're infected. So if you have somebody come to you and say like, you're sending me spam or you're sending me malware or something like that, you need to scan your machine. I know you're probably not intentionally doing that. In fact, I'm almost positive. <laughs> you're not intentionally sending somebody uh, a spam uh, or a virus of some kind, but probably your machine's infected with something that who is sending it on your behalf and it's like it's coming from you. But if you get to the other side of things where you're getting a lot of things where your mailbox is rejected and you're seeing emails that you didn't send out, it could be somebody's just spoofing your email address. Both things are not good, but the one where you are sending to your people in your contact list, uh, uh, email that is probably infected with something, you can take care of that by scanning your machine. And it's very important that you do that as quickly as possible. And if you see that happening, you should notify everybody that that's what happened. And also, I've seen it happen in Facebook where things get posted as you, as me, after things have to be posted as me, that I did not do. And when I see that, I immediately go out and say, this: I did not do this. Do not click on this. So that's just a real quick Security 101 tip this week. We'll see you next week.